Okay, today I wanted to talk about the equipment necessary for doing the reams, urine, and saliva analysis. Uh, all the equipment that I'm going to show you today will cost on the low end about $300, so you can get started doing this test for under $300. There are four pieces of equipment basically necessary uh, to do the test. The first one is a refractometer. The second one is a pH meter. The third is a conductivity meter. And the fourth is just some basic lab chemicals that you'll get, and they come in a kit. All the equipment I purchased personally from Pike AgriLabs, if you Google search that uh, term, you should come up with them pretty quickly. Pike Ag Labs, something along that line. The first piece of equipment is a refractometer. These range greatly in uh, price, but you can find a cheap one on there for somewhere around $60 and a moderate or a medium weight one for about $150. I probably wouldn't spend too much more than that. If you spent $1,000 on one and then broke it, you'd be out some serious money. So a refractometer. The next piece of equipment would be a pH meter. Once again, you can spend a lot of money on these, but I have here a uh, little pocket caddy uh, pH meter, and you can even get by with some really cheap stuff, some pH tape you could get nearly health, any health food store uh, for about 10 to 12 dollars, and they do make uh, different types of these. There are some more, this is a tape version. Uh, you pull out a piece of tape and you dip it on the tongue or in a urine specimen. I still utilize this for the saliva uh, number anyhow. There are some more accurate ones than than this particular one that go in quarter point increments. This goes at 0.2 increments. Uh, but I do use a pocket caddy. I do have a more expensive version of this, but this is about $50. So about $150 for a refractometer, $50 for a pH meter. Next piece of equipment is a salt meter or conductivity meter. Uh, there's a lot of different varieties of these. I, uh, I use a DIST-4. I use a lot of other ones as well, but the, the point in this is that these are about $50. You can go up to several hundred, three, four hundred dollars for a, a very nice expensive one, but you probably for your basic test don't need much more than this. You just need to know how it's calibrated so that you can do the math to divide because it won't give you an actual salt C number, a conductivity number. You'll have to divide that by a factor of 700 or 70 or 7, whatever the meter is set up for. Lastly is a little lab kit. And basically, you're needing three chemicals, some Morgan uni uh, Universal Extract Solution, uh, the ammonia nitrate solution, and some sulfur, sulfuric acid, which is your nitrate solution. Now, those, those three chemicals come in a kit and a little foam block from Pike, as well as you'll need a little uh, ceramic uh, well plate. And also, you'll need, you can get these, you know, probably by the dozen, I get a big block of them. These are little um, pipettes. These are disposable, so I don't spend too much time cleaning them. And then you also need some droppers. These are kind of nice. I buy them by the dozen. Uh, they come apart so you can clean these. I don't throw these away. And uh, that's about it. And that should get you started. Uh, altogether, you shouldn't spend more than $300. And then once you get your equipment, we can start showing you how to use the equipment. And uh, you too should be able to do a test in about 10 to 20 minutes. You should be able to do your own reams test.